Williams, welcome to afl.com.au and the AFL website. I'm Cal Toomey. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Pleasure. What's it like being back in Melbourne for what we call the big dance on Saturday? Well, I always love coming to Australia and I always love being in this hotel. I like this room upstairs. I've got a great view, great bed. It feels like home. I've been, I've been in Melbourne three times already this year. Uh, to come back and be part of what is culturally the top two, top three biggest days for Australia is a genuine honour to be asked. And, um, yeah, I, I, I hope that I, I fulfil expectations. Aussie Rules, what's your take on the game and the code and how we go about it? I really love it. I really, really love it. I've really tried to be into rugby but I'm just not. It doesn't interest me. And I think they're incredibly talented and, you know, all of that stuff. But with AFL, it's so entertaining, so easily digestible. Uh, apart from the scoring system, it's incredibly easy to understand what is happening on the field at any given time. Um, yeah, and I just I love the Aussiness about it. It's um, typical you lot. Yeah, most of your tours are generally in the summer. Have you actually been to an AFL game before in in person? No, I've watched a fair few. Yeah, um, but I don't I don't really go to any Premier League games either. But I watch them all. I was going to ask, what sort of sports fan are you? I know you love for Port Vale. Your recent big gig there as well, the homecoming gig. Yeah, I'm not very tribal. I've come to realise that you know it's like I can really love Man United, but I really have a soft spot for Liverpool too. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> You're not supposed to feel that way. Um, I've also got a soft spot for Tottenham Hotspur and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that's the kind of sports fan I am. Um, I'm ultra competitive. As, you know, as a singer, you know, I, I still want to compete and win whatever that looks like. What it looks like on the weekend is Geelong versus Sydney. Collingwood versus Sydney, you watched on the weekend. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, the like Col- yeah I, I, re- I really did. It was, a, you know, the best advert for the sport. You sat down and somebody with somebody and said, watch the last 25 minutes of this. You couldn't help be enthralled because I thought that the, the, I thought it was, uh, the game was over because I, d- I don't understand the scoring, to be honest with you. But I, it was like 25 points at some what, point. What bit don't you get about the scoring? That you can catch up. Okay. That you can be 25 points behind and you're still in the game. Because 25 points to me feels like a massive difference. Yeah. And it was, it was enthralling and exciting. And I thought, I bet they wish that was the final. They might have just a good game on the weekend. And I've got uh, you this week. I hope so. 100,000 people at the G. You've played Nebworth three times. That was three nights in a row. There's Slane Castle. You mentioned the World Cup. Did it did a gig in Munich a few weeks ago that was over 100,000, yeah. Does it still ever overrule you? Or do you get nervous when you walk out knowing millions of people are watching on the telly as well? Sometimes. You know, like, I opened the World Cup and that was nerve-wracking for a different reason. With this one, it may be nerve-wracking because I love Australia and I want to do them, I want to do you guys and do me proud. But I also might wake up on the day and feel totally relaxed and just go and smash it and have fun. What does Saturday morning look like for you before what's such a massive gig? I will try and breathe, you know. Experience has told me that I can get excited too early. You can't be excited for several hours in a row because by the time you come to do what you need to facilitate, you've expended all the energy. So I'll just be breathing and try and not think about it. They've got a lot happening at the moment. You've got 25 out, which is a great album. I love Lost. Thank you. Fantastic song. Uh, there's the biopic, which I was actually at a couple of those shows earlier this year. They were interesting concerts to be at. Lots happening. There's the Netflix series. I think you did some art recently as well yeah and some melbourne boys as well with lufthouse yeah two good mates of mine tim metcalf and flynn francis um good melbourne boys have they told you much about the afl yeah flynn wants me to be involved with the tigers he's like incensed that i become a tigers fan i've got a few afl terms just for you just to see if you just catch you up to speed before okay. the weekend see if you know what these ones might mean and if you don't i'll tell you okay hang on Hanger. Hanger. Is that somebody that's jumping very high to catch the ball? Yes, that's like a specky as well. There's a don't argue. 
But don't argue. Is that some? Is that like the goon? No, somebody that goes around smashing people. Or sort, yeah, sort of like a like a, a fend off. Yeah, 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 a bit like that. Yeah, don't argue. Wooden spoon. Uh, somebody that's lost. Last. Yep. Yep. That's right. So those are the ones that we've got the, the main tick off items. There's a dribbler. A dribbler is that somebody that's got fancy footwork? Sort of a dribble the ball around on, on the ground through the goals. Okay. Oh, a, oh, one that just dribbles over. Yep. That's story of my life. <laughs> a banana. A banana. It's the banana kick. It must be a bended kick. Bend it like Beckham. The banana it like Beckham. The check side is like that as well. And what about the torpedo? Torpedo is that? That to me sounds like somebody that's sent in to beat people up. <laughs> that's a good terminology. That could work, but it's actually a kick that comes off the outside of your boot and oh. it goes longer. So, oh really? So if you're maybe sixty meters out, it spins through the air. And it's like a tall. Well, that's got to be quite precise because you can get that completely wrong. Exactly right, and that does does that happen a lot? A lot. So okay. If the but, ball, do, but, but do people understand what they were trying to achieve? Yes. People okay. love it. So if you're at the footy on the weekend, the siren goes, and they're seventy meters out. Yeah. People go to the top. Yeah. Knowing that it's a five or ten percent chance of working. It's a hail mary pass. Exactly right. Before I let you go, I know you've got a Carlton jumper today. Okay. I'm an Essen supporter, and they are their biggest rivals. We've got twenty five on the back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me have a look. Ah, Fujitsu. <laughs> Under Armour. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. On the back. It's actually a match worn one as well from number 25, ah. who's one of their best players. So. Okay. If you're ever thinking of a switch, the red and black suits you, Robbie. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm very fickle and I'm not 100%, but I think I'm calm. I think that's what's happening. <laughs> Good luck on the weekend. We can't wait to watch. Thank you.